Crowell, and together we're the Karugapottoms. That's a really long word. We're gonna spell it out for you right here. All right, here, Karugapottom. And we actually came together and started a company called True North 61. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is our Schwinn vlog interview. So question number one, where are you from? I am from Orange County. <laughs> Le Orange. I am from a little town called Rancho Santa Margarita, another long name. And now I currently, we currently reside in Los Angeles and um, I've been here for 12 years, so it is home. And I'm from India, and this specific town is called Chennai, India. I'll put a map, and it's, um, it's a little southern... It's considered a metropolitan town. Metropolitan. Metropolitan. Metropolis? Metropolis. Hey. We have, we're, we're planning on going eventually, but I grew up in America. I grew up a little bit in California, a little bit in Maryland, and ended up here in LA about four years ago, so... You lost yeah. to Jordan. Yes, I also, I also did have uh, about a year in Jordan, uh, which is in the Middle East. So I've been kind of growing up all over the world. What was your first bike experience like and how did you learn to ride? My first bike experience, I was, actually I started riding a bike two, three years old with training wheels, but uh, I remember the day specifically when we took my training wheels off, my dad and I, and we went to the field at my school behind our house and <laughs> Literally took Fly. off the training wheels and whoop, there you go and was cool with me falling and I think that was the best thing he could have done because I learned pretty quickly I picked it up and my dad and I were really really adventurous growing up and we did a lot of bike riding a lot of mountain bike riding and just kind of really explored all over so I remember my first bike it was a BMX bike that I got um, from a from a neighbor that he didn't want anymore. My dad kind of taught me a little bit, uh, but I didn't. I don't think I ever remember having training wheels. I don't. I don't think I ever had training wheels. You just went for it. I just went for it. But I also learned when I was I was much older. I learned when I was like eight, nine years old. So what is your favorite bike memory? So my favorite bike memory is not necessarily a happy memory, but it was my favorite because I remembered it. It was Halloween. Um, I think I was in the seventh grade, and I was at my friend Bradley's house, so we were we had to change into our outfits. So Bradley's already changed. We had to go back to my house, change, and then get going on the on the on the candy. So we were like, let's get back to my house as fast as possible. So Bradley hopped on his bike, and I didn't have my bike, so I had to borrow his sister's. And I'm used to my bike, um, and my bike didn't have great brakes, so when I pushed the brakes, it typically like slid to a stop rather than just like. Poof, Stop, you know? What color was his sister's bike? I don't remember, but probably it's like purple. It's probably like purple or pink. So it's <laughs> not really relevant. So we were riding, and then there was something I had to like, I had to brake for. So I, br I like hit the brakes real hard, and I flew off the bike. And long story short, I spent the night in the emergency room, and it's it was like my Halloween was ruined basically. But the next day, I went to I went to school, and Bradley went trick or treating for me too. So it was really great because although the biking experience wasn't so like fun, um, the maybe I shouldn't be talking about like a biking experience that's not fun. But then this could be a story of redemption and like wow. Did you get like, back on the bike? No, I didn't get back on the bike. I went straight to the hospital. No, did you ever get back on the bike? Like back on the horse? Like when you oh yeah, the absolutely. Yeah. Right now I'm getting back on the bike. I'm Schwinn is sending us bikes. Is this your first time? No. I remember we rode together at Marina Del Rey and we have before that, I we know. had another date with. I'm how do you not remember you. these? Those are my favorite bike memories. The ones I'm that Jen's not remembering. You, no, I remember that. I'm asking you so you can tell them that you've gotten back on the bike since. I've gotten back on the bike since. Yeah, that's important. That is important. Yep. Posture is also important. <laughs> what is your dream bike destination? I think I have two. One is just like my all time dream destination, and it would be Italy. So, riding just along either the coastline of Italy or just through the mountains I think would be phenomenal and then the other would be Iceland they just have these roads that go on for days and I don't know if you guys have seen Walter why do you have to pick two because Iceland was mine no you can see it all right I'll say it again we're married that's that's confirmation that we're supposed to go so um but yeah I don't know if you guys have seen Walter Mitty I that's where <laughs> 
Probably was. That's because, my like, favorite yeah. movie. He, he introduced me to it. But that epic scene where he's riding the longboard, the skateboard down the road, I was like, man, that'd be rad to, to the, take our bikes To there. the volcano. Iceland's my... I wanted, I would love to ride in Iceland. Same, same scene. Just, she said it first. Well, that, it we're suck. supposed to go together. Are we supposed to do this individually? Or? I don't know because the question was, what's your favorite dream? And you picked two. You got, what's your second? I don't have a second. That's my dream. It's his favorite. That's one. Pick two. Why did you do it's that? It's like liking chocolate Wait. and vanilla ice cream. Oh. You like them both. You like them swirled. Could be one trip. What's the next question? I lost my husband. What's the next question? You have to read it. What is it? What do you enjoy what? about riding a bike? What do you enjoy about riding a bike? <laughs> um, I enjoy. <laughs> I enjoy. Um, I enjoy the fact that you can go fast, but you don't have to necessarily expend a lot of energy. Because I love running, and I love the feeling of like going fast, but like the only, the only times you can really go fast are either in a car or when you're running, and if you're running, you're expending a lot of energy and you can't really enjoy it, and when you're in a car, you're encased, so you can't enjoy that either. So I feel like bikes are the great in-between, where you can go fast, feel the, like, the wind against your face, and there's exhilaration and all that, uh, but you also don't have to expend a lot of energy if you don't want to. What are you doing? The wind is, <laughs> it's like the wind in your face. <laughs> okay, okay, well, your turn. My favorite question. I was gonna say my favorite thing about bike riding, but is that? <laughs> I can't do your fast going. Two, 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 two. Yeah, there's been a couple times where we've gone on dates at night and we've actually ridden our bike to like the beach, the, the beach or the nearest yeah. train station taken it somewhere and it's fun because it's like because oh, you can bring your bike with you on the train and yeah. you can bring my bike with you on the metro bus and stuff so yeah and you can work off your food we skip one if you could go on a bike ride with anyone who would you ride with and why okay. that's an easy one i'd ride with you because you're my wife question answered well do we well, want do we want to really say that and like it's like no, the, the question is very simple. If you could go on a bike ride with anyone, who would you ride with and why? Is it like a celebrity? If it was a no, celebrity, it would be celebrity. Liam Neeson. I would ride with Liam Neeson. Okay, besides my husband. Or, oh, you know who I'd ride with? You know who'd be a great person to ride with? Um, the kid that flies with the bike. Uh, E.T. The kid oh. from E.T., you know, he flies with the bike. I'd ride with him. Okay. Okay, maybe I would want to go on a bike ride with Oprah. Why Oprah? Because I feel like things happen on bike rides. Like you, you get connect. Yeah, you connect. You have a good conversation, and she'd be someone that I would want to sit down with and actually talk to. I think she's amazing, a, an amazing businesswoman. Her Oprah, twenty twenty. Yeah. Hey. Go for president, <laughs> Oprah. You can do it. I would vote for you. If you could be any candy, which one would you be, and why? The candy that I would be are those little dibs. That they're candy on the outside. Uh, I'm not big on chocolate, but if you mix chocolate with other things, such as butterscotch, caramel, crunchy things, and then ice cream in the middle, which ice cream all day, we're good. Nice. And it brings me joy, which Actually, I, I think I should stop you right there. Dibs is not a candy. It is an ice cream. Oh, it's candy. It is not. Yeah. No. I'm not a big candy lover. Is Dibs candy? Hey, goo goo. Here's what I found. I'm gonna ask Google, which is. Hey, Google. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Hey, Google. Is Dibs ice cream a candy? My apologies. I don't understand. Ah, you're not good for me. <laughs> Should have gotten Amazon Alexa. Sorry. Hey, goo goo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I didn't know it hurt me. Okay, well if it's not dibs, which I'm still set on, then I'd say Andy's mint chocolate. My grandpa always used to sneak them to me when I was little and they're good. I like chocolate mixed with things. So yeah. I like the minty goodness of it. The minty goodness. Uh, mine is Ferrero Rocher, plain and simple. It's like one of the best candies ever. Chocolates. Chocolates. Best chocolates ever. Wait a minute. It said candy, not chocolate. So maybe we're both wrong. Yeah, maybe. 
but I don't know, candy kind of encompasses chocolate. For a share. <laughs> Gold, so it's got that, you know, regal element. Yeah. And then it's also got the chocolate, the creamy hazelnut, and the nutty center. That's me. The mine, nutty center. Mine because it's refreshing. And I think that... Bless you. <laughs> what comes to mind when you think about Schwinn? First bike company? True. Only bike company. I can't. Only. If if someone asked me to name a bike company, I can't name another bike company. Yeah, I know. Schwinn is like the the one. You know, like there's certain companies that you just if you say a thing, it's the company you think of. Like if I say phone, you say Apple. If I say <laughs> search engine, you say Google. If I say TV, you say Sony. Really? Because we have it. I would say Samsung. Well, we have a Sony. If, if I, but if I I'm, said, I'm, I'm, if I said I, shoe, I would say, okay, shoe. it's a little more diverse. Um, okay, okay. If I said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like there's certain markets that are like completely dominated if I by said specific sexy man, you say, Liam Neeson. No, you're so where can the Schwinn community follow your journey? Blog, website, and or social media handle? I think you can start with our website, our website www.truenorth61.com. It kind of has all the other social medias plugged into it, so you can click click your way to the other ones. As well as our Instagram, same handle, truenorth61, and our Facebook, truenorth61. All of them are interlinked. We are so excited to be the new 2018 Schwinn Ambassadors and a part of this community. We really hope that this video helps you guys kind of get to know us a little bit better and see a little inside of our lives and we're excited to get to know all of you as well. Friends. Do communicate because we do respond. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave now. Bye. Bye. That's my thing. <laughs>